Hey everyone, Queen Ella here. Welcome back to another haul video. Today is my haul from my holiday to New York City. I was away Thursday to Monday and I did manage to buy a lot of stuff during my time there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it up day by day. Like I'll show you Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so on. Because it will be easier to work out that way. Um, like we arrived Thursday morning I believe and we just went straight out shopping. Um, this stuff is from like the Disney store and Best Buy and Hallmark and stuff. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video because I think it might be quite a long one. Especially when it gets to the Lion King musical part. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And let's get right into this haul. So the first place that we went was the Disney store on Times Square. Which is absolutely huge. And they do lots of, well, New York exclusive merchandise. So... I bought myself Liberty Statue mini mouse bag. Well, this is what has my stuff in it. I hope we can see that. And it was $5 and I kind of really wanted to something to go. I also mainly wanted the mini mouse statue Liberty plush, which I did get. Uh, they had a smaller version of her for like $14, $16, I can't remember. Or they had the bigger one for 26 and I really wanted the bigger one for 26 And she says, Disney store, New York, on her foot. She is really big as well. Uh, like you see, she's got like the book and the torch and her little headband. And she's so lovely. And she's like my little momentum for going to New York as well. Is it saying it on her foot. And she's really good quality and she was $27. So a really nice buy. The Disney store also had a sale on just their common plushies. So I was mainly going for Rafiki. And the reason I got him at New York is because he's cheaper to buy in dollars than he is buying the UK. He's $19.95 or £19.99 here in the UK. And so they also had a deal on where you were getting two plushies for $32. So I got Rafiki um, for $19.95. Um, and you know he still has his tag, a little bit bent just by the going in the suitcase and stuff but it doesn't really matter so I'm happy I have the new style Rafiki. And my other plush I got, I'm going to throw Rafiki over here, well not new plush, I couldn't decide what other plushie I wanted so I got Nala, <laughs> um, her tag's a little bit bent as well. There was no other plush I wanted. Um, so I just went for Nala instead of a Simba and the weird thing is she still has her Disney stamp and the new tag so yeah I'm quite happy to have another Nala especially one that feels nice and soft and she's really well stuffed compared to my other one so I might need to compare that one. Um, I did get a few couple more things from the Disney store but these are for my brother. I got them in this lovely Disney store like kind of lunch bag Um, this is only 75 cent so I might actually use this for like my lunch at work because it's just the perfect size. Now these are actually Funko Pops for my brother. Um, we have the new, I'll stick them at this side so it's easier. We have the new Hulk from the new Thor movie. Um, he was the one my brother wanted so we got him. I'll just stick him off at the side because my brother will be home from school and he'll be wanting these so that's why I'm recording this right now. We have Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. I just realised this might be backwards for you guys because of the camera I'm using. Because I'm using my camera instead of my phone. So I'm really sorry about that. But we have Vulture. Stick there. And the last pop we got from the Disney store was Porg. I love Porg. I'm starting like an army of Porgs. He's just so weirdly cute. It's really weird. Alright, so I got... No, I've got five more things to show you from my haul on Thursday and these two are from Hallmark. The first thing was, oh I forgot I'm doing it at this end, is this Hallmark keepsake ornament of Moana with the kind of watertight thing. Um, she was $15.95 but she's really, really, really nice. The only thing is, it's this type of ornament. You won't like it when you see it in person, but see if you see it in like a flash photo. She's really, really lovely. Like, it might not focus, cause obviously it's picking up my face, but she's really, really lovely. 
and I need to find somewhere to display her because I love the Hallmark ornaments. I also got another ornament and this one was my this year's must have Hallmark ornament. Got the Rapunzel who is solar powered and she swings so I'll open that up and let you guys see her. She was 1995 but here she is here and obviously you can see the solar panel a bit. You might not be able to see her because she's doing it over here because my window's coming in here. Um, but she swings with the solar panel and she's got Pascal there on her foot and she's really really lovely and I really wanted this ornament this year because I don't know if there's any new Lion King ones coming out this year which is quite a bummer. My last three things I got were the signature DVDs of the Lion King. Um, once again sorry this will probably come up back to front but we've got the Lion King one and a half or the Lion King three, Simba's Pride and the Lion King and the Lion King actually comes with um, film sales and another thing is the American Blu-rays are so thin compared to the UK ones uh, oh there it is I hope you'll be able to make it out but you should be able to um, yeah there you go well um, hang on is that better I don't, I don't know um, there you go it's like uh, the Circle of Life scene where Rafiki is basically going to Simba. So that's basically all it is. Uh, the Lion King 2 and the Lion King 3 don't come with anything. Or the Lion King 1 and a half, um, don't come with anything. But these were $25 each. So I was really glad to get them for my collection. So I shall move on to Friday. I think I got stuff on Friday. I'll move on to Friday. So my things for Saturday, I started off in JC Penny where I picked up three items. One item is something I actually didn't expect to find in JC Penny, merely the fact it was something I wanted to buy on eBay, but I didn't want to pay eBay prices for. Her, so by finding it in JC Penny with a little bit extra, was actually quite a good find. And that item was Rapunzel and Wedding Rapunzel. Um, I was watching one on eBay and Wedding Rapunzel alone sold for £31. I found a set in JCPenney for $30 but it rang up for $25 so I got it even cheaper because they were doing like a big sale, um, like things were reduced. So she comes with a wedding dress or normal purple dress and like a really pretty pink Corona dress and it's a really really nice set so I was, I was really happy to find that and get it a bit reduced. So every little helps right. My next item is a plush and that is JC Penny Kion. Um, you're probably thinking he wow he looks like exactly like the Disney store one. You're right and you're wrong. Um, JC Penny are allowed to like make their versions of this plush I guess. They're like allowed to make They've got like this thing with Disney, I don't actually know what you call it. Uh, they're allowed to make Disney store plushies that aren't the same as the Disney store but Disney store allows them to. That's a mouthful. Um, so he is kind of like Disney Store Kion. He is smaller, he's firmer, and he has a closed mouth with a nice little smell. Um, I kind of wish they already made him like this, the Disney Store. And there's his uh, mark and his paws and stuff, and he actually stands by himself. You can see it when I'm holding him, like, he's so firm. Like, I could hold him like this. He's, he's amazing. And he was $18, but I did get money off him. And I'll move on to my next thing. Bully, isn't she amazing? I love her facial expression. Um, she was also eighteen dollars, and she is really, really firm, like Kion as well. Um, these were also a bit reduced. They were meant to cost like thirty six plus tax, but I got both of them for thirty two, including tax. So I think they were reduced to like fourteen fifty or fourteen or something. I didn't even know this sale was on. So when I went to the till, I was so surprised. Um, so I was really really happy to get fully um, because I wanted the JC Penny versions for a while and I didn't want to ship them over to me because I knew I was going so I'm really glad I managed to get her. Um, so I got two more items I got on Saturday I believe or I got in the afternoon of Saturday so I'll share that. A couple of things I picked up was the leaflet, I'll move over here, sorry this is probably back to front again. Um, the leaflet for the musical playing in the Minskoff Theatre. We did go see it, but you'll see my haul in a little while. So I thought I'd pick that up because I have the one for Edinburgh. And I also have uh, like the city guide where the Lion King was on the front. So I just picked that up 
it just kind of tells you what's happening around New York City. So yeah. Uh, my next couple of items are from Hot Topic. Um, we had to travel there at night and we were exhausted. Uh, sadly it wasn't a very good Hot Topic. I only managed to pick up a couple of things but I'm still really happy with my finds. My first item I found, sorry I'm just going to tap the screen there we go okay I just went so really so really bright let's just there we go my first item was this bracelet which from Hot Topic that says Hakuna Mata this is $9.90 uh, it was the only jewelry thing they actually had in store so I was a quite a bit disappointed it says Hakuna Mata but it also has <coughs> excuse me um can't really see it there we go a little Simba charm there which is quite cute I also got a pair of socks, well, five sets of socks. It's got Simba. It's got, like, paw prints. Um, and it's got, like, you can't really see them because they're up at the top. And it's got, like, the silhouettes of the characters, like Rafiki, and there's, like, Sarabi and stuff there. Um, they're a bit similar to the Primark socks. We've got Simba's face, and we've got one that says Simba with Simba's face on them. Um, the last item I got from Hot Topic was this vest top. I actually got it reduced. I think it was for $14.99. And it says Pinja again and it has Cub Simba and Cub Nala on it. I'm just trying to... So I got that reduced. So it was really nice. I think that was everything I got on Saturday. I'm just... Or Friday. What day am I? I'm so confused. Friday. I'm just kind of looking at my screen because I have photos of what I have because I can't remember. Alright, okay. Saturday I went out again. I did go touristy hunting. But I need to see if I have the things I bought when I was at the Statue of Liberty. Because I have a feeling I've left them at my grandma's. I think I have one item here that I got. But just bear with me a second actually leave a couple of my buys from Statue of Liberty at my grandma's. Basically I got a couple magnets. I got, they have their own version of Sum Sums and it was a lion wearing like the Statue of Liberty crown so I bought that naturally. And I bought this pen which I just dropped a pop. I hope you can see it's the Statue of Liberty um, and it changes colour every time we turn it on and off. So I am taking it to work and hopefully it doesn't get stolen because it was six dollars but I really wanted it. Um, we did go shopping again afterwards. I just dropped the item I was about to show you. So I'll grab that and let you guys see. We went back through Times Square and we went into Toys R Us. And we got my brother the last pop he wanted, which was Star-Lord. He has had a little bit of damage to the box. Uh, we got Star-Lord from Garden, Guardian, bleh, Gardens, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And he is a Toys R Us exclusive. And now I'll get the last thing I got on Saturday, which is a very rare ornament. Not Lion King related, it's, if you know like your Disney showcase ornaments, I got the Evil Queen, who was like the original Evil Queen one, who is sells for like over £100. Um, I'll show you her because she's amazing. So the same hallmark we went into where I just showed you the Moana and Tangle ornaments we went back into because there was an ornament I decided to go get from my mum and that obviously was the Evil Queen ornament. Um, she was $75 but you got 25% off because the store's actually closing for renovation so they're trying to get rid of everything. So $75 but technically $61 with tax worked out to be £45 for this lovely girl. Um, so I'm trying to get my mum the villains from the Disney Showcase collection. We only have these two so far but we have like Anna and Elsa and I have Rapunzel so we've got a little collection so far. Um, she is worth a lot of money if you guys are kind of into your Disney showcase things and she has like an actual rope belt which is pretty neat. I'm sorry if you can hear my computer overheating. Um, if you've seen my mail haul video that's what's currently rendering right now. Um, so she's really really neat and I just hope she lasts a long time because she's so rare and I don't want to go get another one but yeah. That's the last of my haul for Friday. Saturday? I think it was Friday? Yeah, I'm assuming we're still on Friday. Let's just hope we're still on Friday because that's all I have for Friday. So I'll move on to Saturday. Saturday we went to like the Statue of Liberty. No, I think I, oh, I'm so good. I'm, I need sleep. I've not slept since I was on the plane and I'm recording this all on the same day. 
yeah okay so we went to the Statue of Liberty and we done Twin Towers I went into like Barnes and Nobles and got some books so my Saturday haul is mainly books so I'll share that with you just now all right so to continue my Saturday haul I'm so confused with days I should never have done this um, like I said we went to Barnes and Noble last year we had like we went to Grand Zero and stuff um, I bought a lot well a fair amount of books um, I'm just gonna somehow sit them here um, I mainly went in for the Once Upon a Time book section I managed to get what I needed but I'll show my Langard books uh, sorry this is back to front again we have the Imaginary Okapi which is like bestie themed book and I really like this picture of Simba and Nala on the back when they're like, yeah, you can stay here. I'm just having a quick look through it again. In case there's any other pictures. But there's not. So, I got that. I can't remember the prices. I apologise. I got The Lion King. Golden Storybook. I don't know the names of these. Um, I'm not aware of the pictures. I think the pictures are... They're basically the same as what's in my other books. Oh, jeez. And you actually... That's quite brutal. You actually... <laughs> It's just a, uh, you know, Simba didn't mean to send Scar flying over the cliff, but sure. I got Power of the Roar, um, since I didn't have it here, I never really bought it. Um, Nala looks like a tiny cup adult in this book, but that's one of the episodes I didn't like that much because they made Nala look so powerless, but... Hey ho, we all have our favourite episodes, but I'm really excited to open them. So I have opened parts of the um, Adventures of the Lion Guard book set. We have Family Pride here. Um, I love how they use an old picture of Simba and Nala in there. Actually, I hope you can see that. Of them nuzzling. Let's see what else we have. But Kyle in this book looks absolutely tiny. And then... Kiara's the first born cub, someday she will be queen. Uh, and you know it says sometimes Kiara and Kion argue and there's a nice picture of Mufasa and the family there. Um, and it tells you about Kion's roar, it's basically bits from the film and learning about his roar from Simba and be like, don't be like Scar. And then we have like the lion guard like, oh no Zakina has to say, besties strongest you know that sort of stuff and then we have Bunga the Brave which moving on to my last two things I got on Saturday definitely Saturday not Friday are two books from Once Upon a Time now they are the same books the reason I got two is because one's for me one's for a friend um, I have Regina Rising which is a new book and was actually cheaper to buy through here than it is buy on Amazon in the UK I got it for $16.99 from Barnes and Nobles and like obviously I have two so I really can't wait to read this book and as well with it being Regina related the pages are black like just the outlines but the insides are like that but I thought that is so cool because it's so Regina so that's my haul for Saturday now I move on to Sunday we saw the Lion King musical and I have lots of stuff to show you guys so my first item is actually the top I'm wearing um, I'm not gonna pull it right up because I wore it to come off the plane because I ran out of tops it is Lion King t-shirt from New York and it's all sparkly and all glittery it's really really nice my second thing is what I have behind me it is the Lion King hoodie I really wanted this when I went to Edinburgh but I didn't have enough money so this time I did in fact manage to get it and um, it's super warm as well it's gonna be perfect for like the autumn fall nights and it has like the lion embroidered and it says the Lion King down the sleeve they were also selling um like joggy trousers and stuff I think I got nearly everything in the store when I mean nearly everything there was a few things I didn't buy um I didn't buy like the Hakuna Matata vests I didn't buy all the tops so yeah I was kind of good with my money keyword being kinda so I'll grab my things bits by bits because there's a lot and I'll show you guys what I got from the musical. First thing I got was this bag, like a backpack and this was only $20. I couldn't believe how cheap that was. That was the main reason for me buying it. That's like £15 for a bag which is crazy. It's so cheap. So yeah, I got this Lion King bag which 
it's really big as well so I'll find a use for it it'll be able to hold something next I got something from the musical I have been wanting for a while it is the baby Simba who is articulated like the one they hold up at the end and the beginning and he's really really soft um, he was $40 but I'm so glad I got him they had loads of them but he's quite rare here in, in the UK for some reason he's only sold in London and yeah he's lovely and he's got the Lion King on his butt there and his little tail he's just adorable I have some key rings and magnets I got I couldn't get these when I first went so I got this magnet here I hope you can see it because it is quite sunny outside um, like a fridge magnet that says the Lion King I got this Hakuna Matata keyring. So at the musical, if you bought any Hakuna Matata merchandise, like a keyring or like a t-shirt or a bottle, you actually got a free pair of sunglasses. So it's, they also say the Lion King and Hakuna Matata on there, which is quite a good buy, I'd say. I also got this keyring from the musical, which I'll just place here. Um of Simba. I wanted this for a while as well so I was really like glad to go to musical with my own money and be able to buy my own things and know what I can get. So I was really happy to get a little key ring. Uh, they also had a really good deal which I'll share with you in a minute. For $40 you were getting a bag, a towel and a free latte mug. For $55 you were getting the bag, uh, the fleece blanket and the free latte mug. But I was so paranoid about like my space in my suitcase. I went for the $40 deal and got the towel. Because I don't actually have a towel. Um, but this is the zipper bag it came in. It says the Lion King. And it's a really, really good size. So, you know, if you had PE or something or gym, whatever you want to call it, you could use this bag because it's really, really good. And I don't have a lot of towels in my collection. I think I only have three, two or three. So I got the, I'm not going to pull it right out um, because, you know, the face is quite easy to see. And it just says the Lion King musical on there. And I was super paranoid about bringing my mug home. Um, thankfully, they gave me a box, but it didn't wrap it in anything. Um, what I did was I wrapped it in my hoodie, in my bag, with a shot glass, which I'll show you in a minute and my mug made it home so I was really glad about that it's quite a tall mug as well and that's the one you get for free in your deal so my shot glass just you know looks like the normal Lion King design uh, this was $10 and I can actually use it in the UK I couldn't in America but I can here so I've just been picking up loads of random little stuff but we're getting to my favourite item I got from now I actually have a cup they were selling slushies, so you know I got a slush. I didn't know you got a cup. I actually have two of these because they're not allowed to refill the cup. They have to give you a new slush cup. So I mean, sure, I've got two new cups. So quite happy with that. The next thing I got um, was a bracelet set. This is twenty five dollars. Like at the top, it has Simba, it has some leaves, and it has like Mufasa, and then it's got oh, it's kind of went over. There we go. In leaves and then Pumba at the bottom there. This is 25 They did have another set for 30 but I kind of wanted this one more because I might wear it. It's pretty cute to wear and I really really like the design. Okay and so for my last couple of things from the musical, as I put them all here, I got a kind of tumbler, kind of glass drink bottle, well not glass, and it says LKNY, is it 1997? And it says the Lion King, so I got this as well because there wasn't a lot of merchandise that said New York on it. Just this bottle and really my t-shirt I'm wearing did say New York on it. And probably my favourite thing I got from the musical, which I haven't seen before, is this journal. Yeah, it just says New Lion King Journal, so I don't know if it means like it's a new journal or it's new, new, new merch. I think it's just like a new thing. Um, I, I fell in love with it. I was standing in the queue. I didn't even see it until like I turned around when I picked up my drinks bottle and I was like, oh, you're amazing. So I bought this really lovely journal. I love, love, love the colours. And the patterns on the inside are even nice. With like giraffe and Rafiki and stuff. 
and at the back it says the Lion King. And this was only $10. I'm surprised it didn't sell out of that. That was crazy cheap. So lovely. And now I believe that's everything I got from the musical. I have four more items to show you guys and that is my complete, complete haul from New York. Well not complete. I did buy clothes but I'm just showing you like my Disney stuff and whatnot. So yeah. I'll show you my last four things. And that concludes my haul. So in New York, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of gift shops. You can walk in and they'll have like suitcases, New York items, beanies. So we went after the musical. We just strolled down to like Central Park area. And we walked into a store and I found Lion Guard tie beanies. Or TY, I don't know what you call them. So I have Beshti here. I love tie beanies because I love their eyes. Um, he was $8.99. And he's really cute and squishy. He's actually new. I didn't even know they made a bestie. Because I know they had Kion, Fully and Bunga. No idea they had a bestie. Which probably means there will be an Ono soon. And there is Bunga. He kind of looks a bit scary. But but he was $9.99. Uh, everyone apart from bestie was $9.99. He was $8.99. And then we have Fully. Really, really nice. So now I have like three different variations of these beanies. And Kion, last but not least. So now I have like a full bed of merchandise just to somehow make room for. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, rate and subscribe. Try out the notification bell, which is like just beside my name under this video. There's like a little bell. If you haven't clicked it already, click it. And then whenever I upload a video, it'll come up in your top right hand corner. And you will see it basically as soon as it's uploaded. You will know it's up. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!